Hi everybody, my name is Lily, and today I'm going to talk about earthworms. There are over 1,800 different species of earthworms, and scientists estimate over 1 million can live on a single acre of land. No, the earthworms have no brain, no lungs, and they respire through their skin. Respire means breathe. Most earthworms are only a few inches long, but the South African earthworm can grow up to 22 feet long and one inch thick. That is big. I would love to have an earthworm that way. It's a myth that worms cut in half will grow into two worms. Their tails will die, but their heads will survive if cut below the saddle. Right here. Earthworms are very important to our planet. They eat dead leaves and other decomposing organic material. They deposit nutrients when they dig throughout soil with their castings, or worm poop. Earthworms aerate the soil by tunneling into the ground. Big earthworms will tunnel six and a half feet. If you want to observe earthworms, make a worm habitat. First, all you need is a big jar and a smaller jar to fit inside. So that the earthworms won't go into the middle, they'll stay so that you can see them and, and observe them. Fill the jar with dirt or potting soil, not too wet and not too dry. Sprinkle kitchen scraps, but don't give a worm a cupcake or meat and cheese. Just stick to vegetables and apple peelings and you know, veggies. <laughs> the final step, put your worms on top. The places to find your worms are almost anywhere. You can find them in the garden, you can find them in any other kind of wet ground. Place your jar somewhere dark, like a cabinet or a garage. If your mom will let you keep them in your room, you can cover the jar with black paper to shield them from the light. Take your jar out and observe the worms and the tunnels they've made and the food they've eaten. After a few days, when you're done observing the worms, dump them out where you found them or in a flower bed or garden or go fishing. Bye guys, hope you enjoyed me talking about earthworms. Bugging out.